Hello, I have a video today to show you all something I have been enjoying doing this past few days. I've been making soap and not only have I made it, I've used it. Okay, I bought this silicone mold from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if I kept the name of it. It was the wavy, the wavy soap mold. I probably, I thought I kept it. Maybe some here somewhere. But it's the one that makes the soap look like this, y'all. It's so decorative. So pretty. And I used white, um, the white soap. Which is, okay, everything's supposed to be right here with me. Like this. It comes like this. And they also have some in clear, but the white. And then I used some white. And I used uh, blue dye. Now I have several kits that I've bought over time from Hobby Lobby and Michaels. This... What's the did I use on it? Yep. This kit <laughs> I bought from Michaels. And this kit that I bought from Michaels. So anyway, I pulled them all out. I had a little place down in the basement that I kept them. And I'll show y'all that at a day like maybe when I'm doing something with storage. Because I'm not going down today. But so this is what it looked like. I took the... Um, you know, like a little popsicle stick, but it actually came with one. It's over there. But y'all understand, it's a popsicle stick, but it's like a stick stirrer that one of the kids had. Now, a lot of these kids I've had, like I said, for a while. And in having them for a while, I'm going to tell you something not to do that I did. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can find one. Because I kept them to show them to you. Okay. So I just put a bunch of them in here because I'm going to throw them away. But um, some of them, it, it, they, um, even though they were closed, I never even opened them, y'all. I never, oh yes, I'm from the country from the south. Never opened them. And look, they're still in the plastic. Container still sealed. And they still evaporated. So there's still a little blue left in that blue one. And maybe if I try to add some water to this peak where some of it dried, I could probably get out. But look, there's nothing there. And there's nothing in yellow. There's nothing in mint green or yellow. I mean, you can really say there's nothing in any of those. So yeah, that's going to go to the trash, which I'm usually like slow to do, but this one, see, never has been open. It was in one of the kits. This was red, or well, pink rose. I was, when I saw rose, I was thinking red. But um, there's a little left in there, and I mean, that would be just enough probably to color something. Um, Now this is actually a cucumber fragrance cucumber melon fragrance and now that's still in there and it's still filled to the top so i do have this blue um red or is it pink it's red and this left to play with and let me see this other one yep that's another one it probably has just enough to do a little bit and it just so happens now i have i've been skipping this here i just hauled this recently it was how much to something did i turn it up i think i turned it upside down <laughs> let me see 2 dollars and so we are maybe 30 cents because I went in one that store it and it was 90% off and they just like this was like this 30 cents. But I just, these just went on sale. So this is what motivated me kind of to do it. 
one because I had gotten this vitamin E. I had gotten this strawberry and a mint um, flavor for soaps. And um, I think it's soap sand candles. And um, I got this. And y'all, oh, I used this. I'm going to show y'all what I used this in, y'all. It is on fire. When I say on fire, like, it's working. Okay, so I have this mold. And I'm just almost certain. I got these from Hobby Lobby. They don't have that sticker on them, that orange label. But I got them from Hobby Lobby, and they had gone, like, clearanced off, like, they were under a dollar. So, what they had on them is girly things, like sunglasses, a purse, perfume, a perfume bottle, nail polish, shoe, and sunglasses. Did I say everything? So... I took some of the white mold and I put it in this. Now, this isn't a silicone mold. This is just a plastic. And like I said, it has the perfume bottle, lipstick. That was the other one. A shoe, a purse, a per, um, fingernail polish, and sunglasses. Okay, and I was wondering, I'm like, what happened to this one? Because it looks just a little deformed. And you're going to see a little frost on it because... If you watched it in my other videos, and in case you haven't, um, that you, in case you didn't watch them, <laughs> the name of my channel, um, this didn't say that I needed to put a release or something in there, an oil or spray or anything. I knew better, but I didn't do what I was supposed to do. So I was watching somebody's YouTube channel. I can't always remember the names. But they said if you have one and it gets stuck to put it in the refrigerator. So you can, if you can, you can see the little glistening on it where it's defrosting. <laughs> but it's on fire because I put, I mean, it does smell good. But this is one of the reasons why I'm kind of trying to make soap. It's because I, that's avocado oil. You know, it's just on set of Um, I'm trying to find the scent. I thought I'd just put it back in here. So I could bring it over here. Uh, well, I did, but here it is on the floor. So I put some tangerine rose and black currant in there. And I got this from this kit with the three. I thought I had put this. <laughs> I thought I had put that back in there. Well, you know, it comes with three. So it came with um, mineral water and fresh sheets and sea salt and beach sage and i got those because i was thinking oh those will just smell really really nice and subtle well they're subtle if you don't put a lot in there and i just put too many i probably put about five six seven drops when i was supposed to put maybe one or two three but i got a little shoe and then the other thing that happened is i did warm it up on high and so, you may not see that it's a little warped. But I was wondering, it's like it's a little warped there. And there aren't any more in there because, I mean, I don't know. You may be able to find them online. I didn't know it because I don't do Amazon shopping. But it's from Something Fabulous. And um, I let it cool off because it was bubbling. But all the same, it still warped it a little bit. So, I probably should have cooled it off. A little bit more but I'm still happy with the results because this will be one that for me I will use it as a hand soap or just something decorative because I haven't tried it to see if it um, if I have an allergic reaction because I do have an allergic reaction to some of the, the best soaps and some of the ones that just will carry you away and all of that stuff I can't sit in the tub with that kind of stuff or take a shower and let me tell you something interesting that I used. I used my wick candle maker to melt my soap because I'm like, okay, it's the same technique. You're going to cut up the little um, bars or, or whatever you have. Like this one is the little clear little pieces, just like the white. Then... I don't know. I didn't have a I thought I had a plan when I came over here. And then some of them come in these bars like this. And 
Oh, you can't see. They come in, they have the clear. Do I have one? Hmm, both of those are clear. Like this. Now, if you're a person and you're looking at me, you're saying, Miss, in case you didn't know, I don't want to make soap. I say fine, you know. You can really, technically, to, for as well, I'm concerned, you can really just get this bar, because this is two. You can get, get them and use them, separate it, and just use it as your soap. Because um, all we're doing really is melting it down in here, cutting it up and melting it down. And then we're using a mold. And if you want, adding a fragrance or color and getting, after it dries it in an hour, usually it takes about an hour, you get it out. <laughs> what I did was I had done some in pink and so I didn't even clean it out really. But I, it put some white in it and it got a little tinge of the pink. And it looks like a little raspberry. <laughs> some whipped cream and like a little cheesecake. And this one the same. It has some of the pink. So let me, um, and like I just used to stick. I put the white in first and then put that on the bottom. I didn't try to put it all the way to the top. Then this was the probably the pink that I was using and I had some white and stir at the bottom and instead of leaving just the marble defect I you know tried to get a, a solid base now of course this is just how it happened to have dried on the top I don't know that I went and did anything to it to get that little interest but this is the interest that I had from the soap mold and then this last one, I didn't, I put some in because it was some extra left and I was, I think, I was thinking of going and maybe adding some more white and putting another color on the bottom. And really I could just put the white or put a clear because I can just as easy, easily put this back in and pour some in there. And I have used it and with just the glycerin and it worked out totally fine now. It I, I really like the way that it feels in this mold. But all of it it suds up fine. Um I found that I like the silicone mold better than I like these just plastic molds. Now, I'm not going to throw them away because I can always put them in the freezer. Now, let me show you. I didn't clean this out. This is what I did. I made a mistake one time. And they do have a max line in here for where you're supposed to put it. I saw it right away because I know I didn't I didn't follow directions. Well, I thought I was. I had cut up some. And they came over and I was like, by the time it melts, it'll be under the line. Because they're not, you know, the squares aren't like... It's like it has space in there, right? So then when I turned it on, I was watching YouTube, and I went back over to check on it. It had <laughs> came up over, and it was bubbling on the side. So, if you can see, <laughs> yeah. And so I did wipe it out some because I had put some purple glitter in there because I thought that's what it said I could do. But now I found that instead of putting the scents and colors and glitter or anything in this wait until it comes out because the way this is made here you're not going to see because there's soap over it and I didn't clean it again yet because I'm still just mixing and making soap because I'm making it for myself I'm not trying to sell it to anybody or anything and I um, have had to use the little thing um, that comes with it it's a little um, still little well it's when you making a candle you wrap the, the the wick around it to keep it from just um you know melting all the way into the wax for the candle so i'm using that to stick in there and clear it out so when i'm doing the um the soap 
so that it'll run through because it, it, it's been clogged and it's like not wanting to work. If you see, it's a little plug there right there that got out from the soap. But like I said, it works for the soap just as it will for the candles. Now, when I transfer from using the candles to putting the soap in, I did clean it out. I took a, a top towels and wiped it, wiped it, wiped it, kept wiping and um probably with some water and stuff nothing too complicated um just because you know with a candle you end up having a residue something it's gonna be left over some film something where with soap is gonna tend to dissolve but i've been having so much fun with this i have made um a couple of candles and i made them without fragrances because sometimes i'm telling you it just seems like the scents are overwhelming i buy them from places you know that sell that kind of stuff i've bought them and you know you turn them on and then it just overwhelms you so you gotta unplug them even with my girls i noticed i passed some in the hallway and they went and they unplugged them because they were like the scent was just so much so i'm trying to make some with lighter scents because we're sensitive to the smells i'm sensitive to using soaps with fragrances and, and smelling them so um I mean, I really wanted to, when I do this video, I really wanted to do it with um, me doing a demo, like having some more <laughs> wax in here and adding some more and pouring some in. So hopefully I will get to do a video like that because I have some more soap that I've been making that I'm not showing you yet. But I want to show you this. Now, this was another one that I bought. Now this was this kit, and it's supposed to put let you put your initials on the soap. And again, I'm gonna have to get a release. Now I don't. I mean, like it's gonna be like a cake. Um, and I'm gonna have to learn to watch my temperature because this again it got warped. I was just throwing a little color in, y'all. I was just trying. Because like I said, we're going to use this here at the house. We're not going to sell it. And I, it's not that I don't want to do a good product to, for a demo. But, um, you know. Oh, look at how cute that is. <laughs> but um, I have to watch the temperature. This doesn't have a temperature gauge. But I like to turn it up to high. And it's like it says on this one, it'll be... Um, Red to let you know this one is working to warm it up, and plus you'll hear it. And then bottom one, it'll turn blue to let you know you have it open. And so, but I don't, if it gave a temperature gauge, I have to look at the instructions again to see if it did all that. But all the same, when I put this in, it did get a little warped. It's still, I don't know, I was going to say it's still cute. I don't know. I don't know if it's cute or not. But um, um, like I said, I was just playing around. I wasn't even counting how many dots I put in. This one did overflow, so I used one of those little syringe type things and put some extra over there. And I was like, well, I could always, you know, add another color on top. Um, if you have the bubbles, they tell you to just use alcohol and I spray alcohol on it and it'll pop the bubbles. But I didn't concern myself with that. I do have an alcohol spray that I used to carry around with me. So I have allergies, like I said, I keep saying I have, I have allergies, I itch and scratch, and so I'll just have alcohol in a spray bottle, and I spray it on myself to try to just keep myself from being infected, if if it's possible. So, but I've had so much fun with it. Um, we're gonna we we not just gonna we're using the soap. I'm gonna tell you the funny thing though. When I told my husband I was making soap, he's like, "Girl, we need soap. I can buy soap." <laughs> It's so funny but I was like no I bought the kits and I didn't just buy the kits to sit around but they've been sitting around and um yeah this one I made the lips one time it took me forever to get these lips out of here it's still you can still set it so I guess I'm saying, thinking it's my first time but I'm guessing I tried it some other point too. and so like I said I got stuff scattered here but i've been had a little section of my thing and had this bag that you know we get these bags from people this is 
the Alabama, speaking of allergies, the Alabama Allergy and Asthma Center. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, what a coincidence, right? So, I got this mold, like I said, these were years ago. Yeah, he was one with the price. It was 74 cents, and they were originally two ninety nine. So, I got this back. Yeah, this was probably back in 20, because it said, no, 22. One of those numbers, y'all know. They've been Hobby Lobby for a while. You know those numbers that tell us years. I think that was March of 22. They, um, right there. Where they went down to 74 cents. And one thought, you know, was thinking of making little jello things for the children. But, you know, when they have them for this here, they're really not made for, um, food grade. So... Yeah, so, but they got it for soap, this, and then I was thinking, you know, they had that movie, <laughs> and then I didn't do it yet, though, like I said, I just, I was just playing around, then they had this, now this is actually for plaster, for the, um, plaster molds, but I thought, I was like, you know, this would be great for my grandnephew, and now I have, a uh, two. Two grand nephews. One just recently turned five, and one is just eight, nine months because it's September. Nine months, but so it, it you could do plaster more. But I was thinking I could do them and make little soap, and you know, just have them for like hand soaps for them, the household. Football season. Basketball season, baseball, all that. It's, it's got it, all of them, right? Soccer, baseball, football, basketball, yeah. So it has everything. So, you know, that may be a thing that might make a little boy want to wash his hands. So, um, yeah. So I don't keep them in the refrigerator too long, y'all. Just enough. I put them in the freezer. That's what the lady said to do. Um, so that's what I did. And like I said, I want to make some more of these soaps here. I really do want to make some more. And I really want to um, do like colors. So I'm like, okay, um, I'm going to have to find something where I can actually put the colors in so I can color in the sunglasses. Like instead of just doing a monotone, I actually like paint the, the sunglasses in one color and the base another, the purse one color. And then, you know. So like how they got this, you know, you can't even really tell it's lipstick, but I want to be able to, you know, just like I said, just have them for decoration, but also, uh, for utility, you know, if you want to need to wash your hands, you can wash your hands with them, but you can also just have it look pretty. Okay. So the other things that I have inside of here, like I said, I got this. And the soap that I took out. Oh, don't open it right onto my keyboard, you know. They're not open. Then I do have stored in here this avocado oil. I put it in on um, one of the soaps. But I'm, it's still upstairs. Um, I didn't do it right. The thing that happened is now when you're doing the soap, when you're putting it in the container, it will get a film really quick. It starts to harden. And when I would put it in there, it was starting to harden so fast that when I was trying to stir it, stir it, it wasn't getting in there as fast as I needed it to. So, you know, some of it, I was like, it'll be like a sweet surprise. You know how you had the candies, and then when you get in the middle, it's like um, some other candy in there or chew gum, and then they got the little burst in there. So it'll be like that. So and you just get a little burst of moisturizer. Um, this I got a while ago, peach mango. And this is one of those that's good for the um, soap, and it's good for, you can use it in soap or in a candle. I did buy this kit, this orange peel, poppy seed, and loofah for um, 374 where it was $7.49. Now, some of the stores, they still have it there. I just, I'm um, kind of going to take it a little easy, adding, you know, my allergy is additives. 
So, and I got this glitter, this, some of the glitter that I put in there. Um, is this one I open? Nope, it's not one of the ones I open. It's over there somewhere. But it's, this still is in the container. This got this candle wick, but I need to take this out. And this also was, um, like, um, for the soap, it's a tool. I guess, like, if I want to do shaping, carving, this is a tool, this is a scrape. And this here can also do some shaping. So that doesn't belong in there, but that happens sometimes in the travels. And then this one is um, some purple liquid candle. So that doesn't belong in there either. This doesn't belong in there, but I took all for some journaling, but I just needed to put it somewhere so it won't get thrown away. This is the collaboration that Barbie and Krispy Kreme has done for the Barbie donuts. <laughs> and a chance to win the Barbie doll with a, her own little Krispy Kreme donut and box of Krispy Kremes and you're supposed to get a jean jacket, denim jacket. I bought some because I want, I want it. I want the doll. I want the jacket and all of that. So I'm trying to put my, some of the odds and ends in here. And then I got some big boxes stored in here so I have been enjoying like I said using this um, for, for all the purposes for making candles and for making um, soap and I'm enjoying it so much that in one thought I'm thinking should I go get another one so when I want to do more than one color or three colors like I can do this color just by not mixing it all the way through and then I can put this layer and then I can put another layer by having a second machine and I was thinking that you know like say how I want to do this one here that's in there and it's not finished I can put uh, white on top of that and put two colors three colors however many you want but just do it like that I mean the options, the possibilities, y'all. I've just been having so much fun with it, and I'm just so excited about the results, and that it's a two-for-one machine, because I did see that they had a soap-making machine. I kept looking for the video, kept looking for the video, and I was like, I'm just thinking, I really can use this for the soap and for the candles, and I can have a two-for-one. And so I tried it, and I'm just here to tell you, that it works, it works. They can't tell you that because, you know, they won't, wouldn't mind if you buy both machines. But like I said, as much fun as I'm having, hey, a person like me, I can use two <laughs> machines. I can use two. I could probably use three because like I was saying, I was thinking about getting um, some of those, um, in Hobby Lobby, you know, they have the candle makers with the, the old fashioned way. You know, yeah, this is just fun. We're not doing the mixing the sodium and, and um, the lie, basically, I was trying to say the lie name. We're not trying to do that and, and, and what other chemicals and all that stuff. This is just, we already got this gel base. And all we're doing is melting it into a mold so it can be pretty and adding a little color. So they pretty much did the work for us. And I know I've passed Hobby Lobby's where before that they have the big old blocks of them. I mean, like sheet cakes of them. And they're for like uh, probably $10 or less or something like that. And I thought about getting them, but I was like, and I mean, they're at a size where you can just get them and tear them off and have them as soap. But I was like, no, I want to one day do the molds and stuff. And like I said, this, I got the little train track too. What is it? You know, I didn't th even think about, is that? Yeah, it's for soap. I was gonna say, is it for soap or candles? It's for soap, but I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna need to try that. Because what I'm thinking is, I looked at one today and I said, oh, I'll get it later if I need it. Uh, I'm going to try to see if it stands up. Because if it stands up, I'm going to put some holes through it. And I'm going to make it a candle and soap. But if I put the holes through, see, I won't be able to use it as um, the candle. Because, I mean, as soap. Because, you know, I have to fill up the whole mold. And so, um, 
I might get two and I might have one for candles and one for school. And that's like I said, it's a way for little boys to um it's a way for little boys to have maybe or girls to get inspired to use soap because they're using a little train and then you can also have it as a candle and put it on or around, you know, the um a cake for their birthday. So Okay, I, I just tell you, I'm just thinking of all the ways to use this because I was thinking one day, I was like, oh, how many things can I make with a candle? And I was like, you can't do anything too small. And I was like, no, birthday candles are really small and really thin and they're used, um, I was like, you can just get a string almost and just dip it in the wax, dip it in the wax, dip it in the wax and you got a candle. You got a candle. So, yes, I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun. And the lather that they give, these are it's fantastic. It's just really fantastic. And I'm just really having a good old time. And it's a way for me to relieve stress when I get home from work. Um, and then to use the crafts that I buy. You know, so often we're buying the stuff from our stores that we enjoy buying. And I'm getting them at these great discounts. And I'm having fun. And I'm getting the relief. Um, I was in a little stalemate for a minute. And you know, if you go see counselors and doctors and all of that they want you to do some kind of activity anyway so it worked out and i did go see a therapist <laughs> through the va hospital and she's kind of helped me to get back on track <laughs> just get back on track and start doing my crafts and stuff because i had stopped doing them i was buying a lot i got a hobby lobby down in my basement but yeah i cleared out a section because i'm actually doing my projects now i've made some candles and i've made some soap Hoorah! <laughs> so, that's my Marine um, Army <laughs> National Guard. Bye! Y'all, please subscribe and like. Thanks!